How's it going everybody? John McLennan here and in today's video I'm going to show you John Mayer's secret strumming pattern. This is a strumming pattern that he's used in songs like Stop This Train and Who Says. Now I personally think that he got this strum pattern or this brushing pattern from listening to the Beatles' Blackbird. And you can trace this back to the Beatles' Blackbird and also back further to people like Maybelle Carter who also did this kind of strumming in songs like Wildwood Flower. And even before then, I think it came from a banjo technique called claw hammer banjo. Now I did make a video a long time ago, one of the early videos that I made on YouTube back when I lived at home at my parents' house. I made the video on an old computer with a really terrible webcam and shout out to anybody if you have followed me since this video. It has almost 500,000 hits on YouTube, but I briefly touch on this strumming pattern. Leave a comment below if you actually were subscribed to me back then. Huge shout Shout out to you, thank you, and let me know if you saw this video. Now this is going to be a detailed breakdown of the pattern, what I'm doing with the finger picking hand, how I'm using this brush strumming technique. You're also going to get a tab as well. Before we jump into the lesson though, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. You're getting this information completely for free. And I post brand new guitar lessons like this every single day on the channel. So if you're new here, make sure to subscribe. All right, with that said, let's jump into the lesson. Let's learn how to play this secret John Mayer strumming pattern. Now, again, you can hear this in a tune like Stop This Train, and that's what I'm going to use as an example. I'm going to show you the intro part, but I'm going to really break down what the finger picking hand is doing. So here's what it's going to sound like when we put it all together. So if you want to play a song like Stop This Train, you're going to really want to work on this finger picking pattern and get it solid before you go through putting all the chords together. And you just want to get this groove because it's the motor of the song. And it's used in a lot of other songs as well. So here's how it goes. First, we need to learn this chord, which is a D sus2. It's like your typical D chord, but you're going to lift off that high string so it's open. We'll play from the D string down. This is open, two, three, open. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna begin with a pinch on the first beat. We're gonna play the D string and the B strings together. Now with my finger picking hand, I'm only using my thumb and my index. So this is a two finger pattern. We're gonna pinch a quarter note on beat one. And then we're going to take our index finger and we're going to play two eighth notes on beat two like this. Now what I did was I brushed down with my nail and then I came back up with the flesh part of this of your finger. So now on beat two, we're also going to drop our hand and get this percussive slap. And this happens on beats two and four, what we call the back beat of this strum pattern. So, so far, step one is pinch. Step two is down up with the back beat slap. So one and two and. Now, because the first beat is a quarter note, we're gonna count one and, and then we'll play two and. So you wanna count this out as you go through and that's gonna help you put the groove together. One and, two and, then three, and four. So on beat three, we're gonna play just our thumb on the D string, and then we'll take our index finger and brush up. Now again, I've written in the tab strings G and B with that index finger brushing up. Now, it doesn't really have to be just those strings. It could be all the strings. The whole idea is to think of this more as a strum pattern than finger picking like playing classically or something because this comes from more of a folk style. So beat three is thumb index, thumb down, index up. So, so far the first three beats, one and two and three and, and then on beat four, 
we're gonna do one final down strum with the index while simultaneously dropping our hand on the strings to get that backbeat slap. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. And up to speed. So that's gonna go through the whole song. We're gonna use that rhythm, right? Here's what it sounds like a little bit in context. If you're enjoying this content, check out the free ebook I have in the description below. It's a PDF that's over 100 pages long, all about soloing. You can check that out as my gift to you. So I am gonna post another lesson that's gonna detail out how to play Stop This Train, note for note. But this lesson is sort of a primer that's basically just covering the finger picking strum pattern here. So one more time, one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. Now let's apply this to the intro of that song. So we're gonna start with this shape here. And then we're gonna move up to another shape that is the sixth fret on the G string and the seventh fret on the high E. We'll do that same pattern, but this time we're gonna pinch the D and the high E strings. So there'll be little variations, but this is the basic idea of the pattern. Then we're gonna switch to another shape here. Six on the G, five on the high E. And then we'll slide down with that second finger, leave it on the string and play the second fret on the G string. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. Now John a lot of times will hammer on into this D sus2 chord like this which is a really nice move there. What you do is you start, instead of starting with the pinch on open D and the, the octave here on the third fret, you're gonna start with the open B string. And then immediately hammer that third finger down. So remember, the most important thing is this pattern in this lesson. So we're gonna go pinch, down, up, thumb, up, down. Pinch, down, up, thumb, up, down. Now, there is a variation that you can do to this pattern. Instead of playing a pinch, you could also just play the thumb on that first beat, which would go thumb, down, up, thumb, up, down. Or, make sure to practice this along with the recording to help you get the feel. You've got Steve Jordan and Pino Palladino in the rhythm section on this song. What an incredible backing band and just an, an unbelievable groove to practice to. If you enjoyed this video and got some value out of it, again, hit the thumbs up button and let me know in the comments below what you wanna see in upcoming videos. Have fun practicing this and we'll see you next time.